Hits and Crits. What's up, Hits and Crits family? We are back out of the from summer vacation. Uh, it was a little quiet, but just for a week or so, or for one and a half weeks, but now we're back. Um, we're back with this very special video on the community contest we uh, set up a few months or weeks let's say, let, let's say weeks right let's say weeks uh, to, to be fair uh, to basically shorten the time for all the you know um, uh, do not, we, we wanted to not stress the patience on the s5 patch we're all you know patient we were all patiently waiting on the s5 patch which is around the corner now but yep, we wanted to short to shorten that time right? Um, so yeah, the community contest, um, we set up and we asked our community members to send in the best possible units they can come up with. And like with all their, you know, out of all, uh, creativity, they have all the, all the, they, they could, could use all the abilities they can think of and, and, uh, so forth. So, and, uh, my, Team member uh, Nachtalp is Tom, uh, Thomas is, heute, uh, is 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 today with me, and uh, to present this with me. Before we start with this, um, Thomas, maybe you can you can say like one or two sentences about yourself, and maybe how the how the um, how the contest, all the all the entries we got, how that went. Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, um, what can I say? I mean, uh, first, it's a pleasure to be here with you, Chris. Um, yeah, maybe some people already will know me from some other content on uh, different things we did in the past. But I think that's my first uh, real video together with you here on the Hits and Crits channel. And yes, yeah, it's a real pleasure to do this with you. And yeah, I was a bit in charge of, of that community contest. As Chris said, we wanted to yeah have something creative in, in the summertime that we could do. Um, we maybe have to apologize a little bit. It, it took us now a little bit longer than we thought before. But yeah, in the end, we had uh, 26 uh, submissions, and um, that is quite a lot. And uh, yeah, we wanted to give all of that uh, due respect and uh, really look at all of them and uh, dis discuss them a little bit. We had a, a team of five people, um, yeah, most of them in the Hits and Crits team as well, uh, that were the jury. And so it took us a little bit longer, but yeah, now we are here to present you what yeah. was submitted and what uh, are the winners of our contest yeah we just said we i i i really want to say i was overwhelmed by all those 26 yeah. entries because like each and every one put so much work in and time and effort all, like 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 ability or rules wise as lore wise so it was just re really yeah. a pleasure to look all through, through all the units but now we have um the best of the best here in this video and we will start with not just the three winners but we will start with some honorable mentions to uh tell to 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 show you how tough it really was and uh, yeah. yeah let's let, let's jump in so the first one uh is from zuster um it's the writers of the red god for eight points maybe thomas you can guide us through this heavy semi heavy calf yeah stannis side sure. unit I mean, I'm I'm not uh, sure if we uh, say his name correctly. I'm or, I'm always saying Suster as well, but maybe it's like something like Sh Shefster or Sh something Shester, like that. Shefster, Shefster, I'm not, Suster, I'm not really whatever. Sure. At least, uh, yeah, but he's. He, uh, but he knows. He knows. Yeah, at least he he knows. <laughs> I'm sure, and uh, he is kind of a legend uh, at absolutely, this point in, in the international community, and yeah, um, one of the submissions that really. Uh, yeah, came really close to our uh, to our top choices, and it was it was a really close uh, thing in the end uh, yeah. under the top eight or so. And yeah, what can I say? It's uh, it's a Relore cavalry unit. Uh, interesting um, for Stannis Kev, uh, uh, obviously, but for for other Stannis uh, lists too. With the Relore mechanics, he put a really a lot of thought in it. We can't go into all of the detail here. Uh, you have a face mechanic on them, and there is a lot of intricacies uh, with um, synergies in Beresian Stannis lists that you can uh, do with this unit, and it's it's a really great entry. Maybe in the end, what didn't get him into the top three was that we maybe thought for eight points, it could have been a little bit more, maybe, like yeah. 
more attacks on the second rank or a, a little bit better defense or something like that. But yeah, as I said, it was really clo close, really great entry, and it would be a really nice um, addition to every Stannis list as well as this unit. Absolutely. The, the what, what I really liked is 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 the fact that is a faith mechanic. There's a really like like close mechanic to what we know from from Roller, like with you know, yeah. um, dice uh, the, the the panic tests on on the, on the remaining ranks and plus one wound. You know, we know this from Mel from from this whole panic panic thematic Roller side kind of yeah, style. Yeah, from the other Roller and also, units. And also, you have the trigger on the charge, which is which is pretty close to the to the champions of the stack, right? So it it's um, I I really like it. But as you said, it was really close. But uh, yeah, let's jump to the next one. Yep. The, ne the next one is from Horus, um, which or who uh, we, uh, did did a lot of work on the lore side too, and I really yeah. like this Knights of White Harbor um uh unit because it's so you know how house mendeley got you know it was on the wrong side of the track when when the war came up and you know what, what <laughs> as yeah, always yeah, what but... happens happens but the starks were nice enough to give them lands <laughs> back and this is <laughs> why they're so loyal unit. to the starks and so i really i really like the unit but um uh yeah guide us through it man yeah he heavy infantry unit um yeah. three plus armor uh, six six plus um moral uh, it it uh, yeah it profits from being charged mm. uh, as well as if it charges itself so that's quite interesting gives it mm. quite a bit of flexi uh, flexibility um, you have a pikeman uh, style um, um, attack profile so they can take some damage and will still hit back quite hard with sundering as well and the set for charge and all of that. I think here what kept this unit is a bit similar to Susa's unit, actually, again, from the top three, maybe is that for seven points infantry, uh, we thought that yeah, the movement four for the seven point infantry, mm -hmm. it is, I mean, if you compare this to something like Rose Knights and Baratheons with a similar defensive profile, um, then they fall a bit short. So I think yeah. if he gave them maybe movement five, then they would have been a bit higher up maybe as well but it's it's hard to say we were a group of people who voted on this but yeah yeah from from my perspective great very interesting unit really nice it would be really nice to have an alternative in starks uh, on the heavy infantry side yeah but then again the movement four like that's the biggest problem of the other heavy infantry we have uh, right the tally infantry so yeah True. I think that was their downfall. That was the main reason, yeah. 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 All right, the next one, Babylon. Um, like I, I really like to 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 kick things off. I really liked all the entries for yeah. the Boltons, right? Because the Bolton, the the the, the Boltons really need it. So uh, I re I was really looking forward to this one. House Hornwood Hunters. Uh, like f first thing you 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 think is it's pretty it it, it it looks like a little bit of bastard girl style but it really isn't when you read through the through the abilities you get a kind of a Cranock man yeah, feeling right. from yeah. it you get the Cranock man vibe so uh yeah guide us through it yeah I mean um I think we have the most interesting uh, thing in this uh, with this unit are the two abilities that he uh, made up or are new in the game uh mark target obviously we knew we know mm -hmm. the most interesting thing here is the woodsman uh, ability when this yeah. unit is in contact with the forest so it's enough to just touch it a little bit yeah. enemies right. attacking it suffer minus one to it so that's for melee and ranged attacks so basically a melee plus ranged attack disrupt which activates when you touch a forest so we thought that this is a really great ability really cool idea <clears throat> Uh, to to play more with the terrain pieces that you have and uh, i mean we all know it we you sometimes get frustrated there is a forest but you can't hide in it anyways yeah. with the infantry units mm -hmm. and uh yeah this woodsman ability like enables you to play more around the forests and uh, make them quite defensive then uh, with the disrupt on uh and the the problem with the righteous wrath is a little bit it gives them precision okay yeah mm -hmm. well maybe he could have gone for something a little bit more creative there we have so much, uh, much precision in the game but whatever and then plus one to it for each destroyed rank so we think of, that of whom 
right? Yeah, of, yeah. that's a bit the problem. Yeah. Of uh, of yeah. this unit, destroyed attacks or destroyed ranks of the unit they are attacking. So maybe here again, if he, um, yeah, watch that a little bit closer because lore wise, it's interesting too. Uh, you mm -hmm. can read the, the text yourself. Maybe they are a bit weak in, in melee. I think, yeah, I mean, I think he wanted to to made up, make up for the plus one to hit if they have uh, ranks yeah. destroyed. But maybe he could have given them like seven attacks on the first rank too. There, um, It's a bit of a theme like with these honorable mentions, a lot of people maybe were a bit too uh, uh, cautious to not make the unit overpowered, with, which is a sensible thing to do. To do. But then yeah. if you pay six points for an infantry unit or even seven points, yeah, something has to happen there on, uh, with that unit. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. All right. But the next really one. great uh, submission. Yeah. yeah. So the next one from Esche. Yeah. Esche, Esche <laughs> for seven Esche, points. Yeah. Like for maybe seven like points, the, we have the, mar the 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 marcher hunters, uh, a long range unit from the Renly side. Um, so what a lot of players want to have, right? Because when you see yeah. the Renly side, you always see the Golden Company crossbowmen, and we definitely need a long range unit on the Renly side for sure. So uh, what you see here is uh, like the the long range, and you see the the both, and they have a melee profile, five six. Um, so the long bows, right? So the again same point that you just brought up. It's it has precision, which is it, yeah, it's fine, it's right? It's there, it's out there, it's fine. Yeah. So but the my, my thing on this unit was when when attacking enemies that have not activated, which is cool. This gives a good good like sense of you need to play them right right yeah so and the defender becomes vulnerable and panicked and if this unit yeah, has, does does not shift it gains plus one to hit and vicious so the only thing i do not like about this these longbows is for for one the lore wise this panicked and vicious does not really for me at least does not go with Renly, Renly really mm -hmm. well lore wise i know there is the king in the south and everything and he has some some panic stuff too but i yeah. don't really feel this lore wise and in fr from a, from an ability or um um uh, rules perspective i think it's a little bit too strong to, yeah in to the gain over both I'm panic both and good. vicious through just you know i, I don't know yeah. How, how do you feel? Yeah, I feel a little bit the same because here we have a long range uh, unit, uh, not a normal infantry unit. And they are seven points, so they have to bring something to the table. Like yeah. it's, it's similar, like uh, Golden Company Crossbowman or stuff like that. So it has to be a strong unit. But I feel the same. The, the, the panic and wishes feels a bit off on them. Maybe you could have just stick with vulnerable and do something else than the wishes or just leave it even yeah or precision um, upgrade precision to something else maybe yeah i don't know like something i mean <laughs> it is all in all it's a really nice unit yeah, otherwise absolutely. we wouldn't show show it in the honorable mentions yeah and it scratched the top three or top five as well yeah um but yeah this is a bit different than the others we had before maybe here uh why he didn't get higher is that it's it may be a little bit too much on, on this one yeah it's uh, i mean um, we will see uh, that long range renly inf uh, long range renry troops are longed for we will see another entry yeah. um yeah and, and especially with the overwatch right so we we didn't even mention overwatch and we are already feeling panic and vicious and six on yeah, three yeah, yeah. long range with vulnerable you know the whole thing and then overwatch and, and crescent and potential attachment and in this yeah, unit. So it might be a little bit but again it as you said as you said all of these units made, made us real headaches in terms of this one that one i don't know so, right can you even use crescent with renly side i'm not really sure maybe no you can't can. do no, crescent no, can. on the yeah, renly yeah. side uh so yeah. so that that's not a thing yeah, that, but... that one's out yeah that one would be really over the top then maybe <laughs> yeah yeah but 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 in general what you meant is like like tactics cards right you mean yeah. you, you mean all all the rest and i think combined with with the deck with the abilities and stuff and with overwatch and this it might be a little bit too much yeah okay next one the next one from uh our team member pasha who or also sent something in and i was a little bit surprised it came fruitful because he you know he heavily invested in he was heavily invested into night's watch 
and yeah, and Baratheons as well. And then he was heavily invested into Baratheons. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, 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 and then this was his submission. And we put him out there out of competition. So he was in the top three, actually. Yeah. Um, but we want obviously he does not get a prize he does not you know get any benefit of 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 uh, this community contest since he's a hits and crits team member so but we still want to he, he will give a prize he will get some kind of prize from the team we will yeah he I will get a free game, game against like me that. yeah that, that's <laughs> exactly <laughs> okay so but still we want to mention this so for for one i really love the idea of free folk fire flingers lore wise i love the picture uh, this whole this whole card feels good, right? Yeah. So, um, and what's really interesting, maybe you can guide us through this, is um, the the combination of both abilities and how they synergize with each other. Also, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Let's just uh, have a look. At, normally, we wanted to go to the top five at this point, but then we said, no. What Chris just said, let's take Pasha out of the competition. And yeah. just uh, show his entry because it's a really great entry, and then go on with the top four after that. So, what do we have here? Um, yeah, uh, we have a, uh, an infantry unit with a short range uh, attack um, that has uh, wishes. Only the only the range attack has wishes. Mm -hmm. And if the defender suffers any wound from this attack, you put a fire token on that unit. So that's a new mechanic in the game. Uh, interesting mechanic and whenever a unit with fire tokens activates it suffers another wound so um you can really like uh, go there i mean if you think about this adding hidden traps to that adding the fire tokens uh, that whole theme of attrition damage uh, that we already have in free focus really nicely in here as well yeah, yeah. Uh, with, with that mechanic and we all know wishes on a long range attack or on a range attack. It's only short range, but it can be very strong. Uh, so you definitely have to watch out uh, for these attacks. Mm. But it's only short range. So there is the skill test for the free for player too, um, with the bad defensive uh, stats. Oh, well, you could say six plus moral is quite strong for free folk, so that's yeah. not very good. <laughs> I was about but to only, say it's totally yeah, it's six totally plus moral is really right? strong for free folk. Yeah, but you have the six movement as well, so you can bring them into position, but you really have to get them into a good position as well, so they can do their work. And uh, there comes the second ability uh, into the into the game, and that's a new mechanic as well, a really interesting one too. Here with a new uh, Terran piece. Uh, it's called burning oil, so it's a bit similar to the to the um, to the builder from from Nightwatch, right? So once per game at the start of any turn uh, round, important, you can place one burning pyre terrain piece that's from that's as big as stakes or something similar. Yeah, a, sm um, a smaller with, terrain piece. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. with yeah. the dangerous and rough keywords. Mm -hmm. So um, within two inch of this unit. So and here. It, Interesting point, this terrain may be placed over other units and over other terrain as well. Exactly. So to, that you can place it over units, it's a bit debatable, maybe, because it can get, maybe can get out of hand a little bit. <laughs> um, but it's a really, really interesting mechanic, and it really enables them to get them in a nice position, get down this uh, this terrain piece to, to give them uh, some defense against melee attacks. Yeah. Um, if someone tries to to catch them and then yeah just throw their uh, their fire and do what they do and wreck Ab absolutely enemies. absolutely and like yeah. also lore or also like for, when i imagine games against free folk what normally happens you have this you 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 at one point you will be outmaneuvered right because they have a higher activation count yeah. so you can bring them in position by the end of the round in a really well position then you can you can you can just have them there start of round you put in put, put out this oil in front of you right you light the fire and then you're saying okay now i'm here you have to go through this oil or whatever maybe there is even stakes or a wall with yeah. fire oil right and uh whatever and you have to go through this yeah um, yeah yeah you could you could add it to stakes right <laughs> so you could just, add it to stakes yeah well, yeah well, you can't because it's two time dangerous. But let's say a wall, you can put a wall on fire, yeah. and then you have a dangerous yeah. wall, right? So yeah. it can be really vicious, That's right? Rough and who knows? Pasha knows where he comes from, right? So, so, 
<laughs> but I, I I also love it lore wise, right? They they go in position, they put up the oil, and then they they just sit there and and they are a threat from that point on. So yep. uh, yeah. So that was uh, from our team member. But now let's go to the to the to to number four. Yeah, um, it's like one inch out of the of the winning range. Yeah, but what, we decided to to show this too exactly uh, because so, we had like these five places voted out, and so we said let's show them in, exactly. In the so now let's go to the winners of the contest. And there we go with the fourth place, which is our good friend Ilya, um, who sent in something from House Tali for the for the Renly side of the yeah. of the Baratheons. Yeah, as I as I said, uh, like there is that second uh, long range uh, Renly side bowman. Yeah. And first point here, I think lore wise, these are really really great because House Tali. They have a red huntsman uh, on their sigil. Yes. Uh, th they train their boys from very, uh, very early age on uh, with bow, uh, and so it's a really, really fitting unit, lore wise, uh, mm -hmm. in this spot where the Renly, uh, where the Renly long range unit could go. So that is one first thing that really put these high up, I think. Yeah. And it's a very rounded unit as well. If if we look at them, we have like that kind of for six points standard um, uh, bowman profile, seven, six, four, three plus to hit. We know that from other similar uh, bowmen for six points. Um, same for the melee. Uh, and then we have the six plus six plus, which is the same as on the Stark bowman. A lot of people always say, yeah, that, that six plus defense is really shitty. That's why they don't get played. But we see the same here, and it maybe is sensible to do this because long-range units can have a lot of impact on the game. And especially if we see now uh, yeah, what, what uh, abilities he put onto them. And there we have the Order Scout openings, which is maybe one of the strongest orders we have in the game. Yeah. I would see it quite wide up there. And normally you, you have to if you want to combine long range units with scout openings you have to do some kind of you you need two units right you need one unit with scout openings and then you need another slot in your list for that long range option and that is a very strong combination if you can pull it off you have to position them uh, then uh, right but here we have it on the long range unit itself with it, which is really really strong and um but it yeah, it, it makes them really viable as well. As we said before, I mean, units need to be worth their points. Uh, otherwise, nobody will play them, right? Yeah, exactly. Those scout openings on a long range unit <clears throat> is very strong, but very cool as well. I think, uh, like like when you mentioned the, the six defense and six morale, um, or especially the six defense, I think for this unit, it's no problem to have the six point defense because when you read through scout openings and cover volley when you read through the abilities you see you will definitely hide them somewhere behind rose knights you will you will definitely hide them somewhere because you get through cover volley you get this benefit of shooting into engaged yeah. units or into like so so you definitely see some something where you build like in the middle you will push up the middle you will just sit there with your rose knights with whatever you know whatever brathians can bring up with <laughs> They have a pretty big uh, arsenal of doing that, and you just put them behind it. The main, the main reason for me, why Ilya did not went for me into the top three, and this is just a personal thing because we all, we all, we all voted. But for me, this unit is a little bit too strong for six points. For me personally, I would have seen them at seven points. Or you need to change something with scout openings, long range seven on three. I mm. don't know. It was it was for me a little bit too much for six points. That was the, yeah. the only reason I I said maybe that's four, not three. That was the that, yeah. that, that, that was my only reason. I mean the the thing is um they they fill the same role as Golden Company Crossman Man right now yeah. in we, we know these turtle lists yeah. that basically do the same what you described right now. Yeah. 
Um, but the Golden Company has the Sentinel, with, which plays into this playstyle. On the other hand, these guys have this cover volley, so they can uh, shoot very nicely into melee and uh, get weakened tokens out of this. And um, mm -hmm. so, yeah, so maybe if you would have went for seven points and then maybe make them a little bit better defensively, five plus armor or stuff like that, then maybe they would have been a touch up. Uh, higher up i don't know it's it's hard to say they yeah, they've tough. i can see them in the same type of lists uh, those sure. turtley lists with rose knights in the middle and uh, something beefy on one side and then they just stand behind and you have a cavalry unit um, protecting all of that like uh, they would be very nice in in such lists yeah huh. all right so that brings us to the third place which is yeah, now it's getting now it's getting <laughs> now it, wild. Now, now it's, it's getting, getting wild. wild. So yeah. Tystics. Tystics send in the sandworm. So unfortunately, guys, this is this is a, a German card, but we will still explain everything. So yeah. basically you see the eight points, and let's uh let's let's we, we will ha need a little bit more time here because this is German. But let's start with um, uh, with a little box on the on the back of the card. So this this um unit may attach um, the commander card, so Obara, Oberyn, whatever. So yeah, basically the commander can write the sandworm. Right, he can he can write on the sandworm, <laughs> right? So and um, exactly. And um, now let's go to the to the second ability on the front page. It says Tunnelgräber. So he's basically a, a tunnel digger, a, t t yeah. a tremor, right? So he goes underground he digs tunnels underground and goes beneath beneath the battlefield below the battlefield and uh, what he can do is uh, this this unit cannot be the target of attacks abilities or any effects not even the tactics board as long as he is out of um short, short range. range of any other unit of, of any other unit of so any that's other for, unit so he needs friendly. to stay alone yeah yeah yeah. For friendly and enemy units and for friendly and enemy effects, effects as well. So you can't target him if he is digging, if he is under the ground, yeah. acting on, on his own. Uh, then you can't uh, use positive friendly effects on him as well. Nothing. So, exactly. But he, he cannot be shot at. He cannot be charged by enemies. They, they have to get into short range of him before. Mm -hmm. So they can see him basically yeah. to be able to charge, uh, to charge him. And we thought... That that's a really interesting mechanic. Yeah, it Only is you. a bit lore wise. There are sandworms and they are in Dawn, so that's fine. Yep. They are not really ridden, I think, by a Dornish men. But maybe I'm wrong there. But I don't think so. That <laughs> but, it's cool. they do. but it's but cool. But it's cool, and it it's, needs to I mean, be in here. <laughs> it's just a, a cool idea. Exactly. I think most of us thought. Yep. And it's this, this mechanic is really interesting. I have to say, it's yep. interesting. It and, really is. Um, it really is. So now back to the to the back of the card. So, but in this effect or this ability, if you attach your commander, he's riding the worm. Then this short range, he needs to stay out of short range, out of anything. Yeah, becomes long range even. Yeah, exactly. So, like, right? He can't dig so deep with See, that guy it, on his uh, on his yes. back. Obviously, he has yes. to have his head out. So. Uh, you yeah. can spot him from longer away yeah, and interact right. with him from longer away. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, yeah, again, that's just in interesting mechanic-wise and interesting, uh, interesting idea. Um, so uh, there is another effect on the on the, on the tunnel digger, on, on the digger uh, yeah. ability that's uh, that you ignore uh, if if you start your activation outside of short range, respectively long range, long range. with the commander on top. Um, and you do a charge in this turn, uh, then uh, on your charge, the enemy won't be able to roll defense dice. So yeah. that maybe you wonder, hmm, six dice on threes with wishes, okay, but for eight points. But with this additional effect that the enemy isn't able to roll defense dice, he gets a little bit more punch. Yeah. And with the yeah, correct the commanders so. attached. And that's another thing that he thought of um, because... If you now attach a commander and he has cool abilities, the commander maybe has some cool order abilities and he may have some cool commander cards, but you can't target uh, the sandworm. You, you're on, you can't target the commander with its own uh, order normally uh, with this rule. But he thought of that and 
uh, when the commander is on the sandworm, then he can be target of commander cards and commander abilities. Yeah. So, so you reckless can put, heroism or Barra yeah, is a thing. For example, yeah, it would work. Yeah, it would work. Yeah, cool. And other stuff. Yeah. So that's that's basically the tunnel digger or tremor ability, which we really liked. Which is really, you know, it it really, you know, it, it's really a thing. It's not in the game yet. It is really well thought through. So um, and and also the profile when you compare that with stuff that has something similar, right? So Mag, for example, Mag nine points. You put him out there. He attacks with seven on three. You know, and does no. not roll defense dice. This this unit does not seem off for eight no. points, right? So no, it, I think so too. Yeah. So so we really like the idea of and 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 it was highly creative. I also yeah. like the the six movement, the six on three, the three armor, and the four morale is totally a rounded, well designed so. profile yeah. for these eight points. I feel. Yeah, very cool unit. I have yeah. to say. Yeah, that rounds it up, right? Yeah, I mean, well when you just see it, I mean, you, you, you guys, all, all our international viewers, you cannot read it. I, but, but we, we, we explained everything. Yeah. Um, this is just, a, just imagine. Oh, we, oh, what, one, one, one thing. When I first saw it, I thought about a solo tray. But uh, yeah. we are pretty sure now, or ninety nine percent positive, it will be the war machine. The, the, Should be right. The war machine tray. But we, we, we are not 100% sure. But either way, just imagine you have those two trays, either a solo, like two solo, and the one has just sand with a little, yeah. like, like li little, little hill on it. And you just, you, you can move it around in long range or short range. And at some point it moves, it, it, it just pops out the yeah, you know, underground and just, you know, attacks, attacks your unit. It's, you know, lore wise, ability wise, just a cool thing to have. Awesome unit. Yeah. Congratulations uh, to you to your third place, man. So let's well, go to yeah. the second place. Second place from Lokibri, uh, another Greyjoy Lokibri. unit. The grip of the Kraken. The grip of the Kraken is the first unit we see, which will not be on the battlefield. Yeah. Okay. N another. Another very interesting. I think that's why he's so high up too. That it, this entry may have some problems even, but it's just on one side every great Joy player wants this fucking wants boat. A ship. In, uh, <laughs> in, in some in some way they want uh, their chip uh, in their roster. And now Lokerberry went out and yeah, he 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 designed something that uh, yeah, it could be something like this. And it's a really interesting design. Maybe with some problems, as I said, but yeah, let's let's just look at it. And the first thing we have to start with the small box uh, yeah, the on the back the again, yeah. because this unit isn't deployed normally, like normal units are deployed. But it, it is deployed in the deployment uh, phase. But you you choose one side. It's not one hundred percent clear how local pre that means. I I think I talked to him a, a little bit about it. I think he he means like the opponent and. Your own side, maybe he, he means all four edges of the battlefield. We are not fully sure. But you have to deploy it on outside the battlefield and you have to choose one side of the field. And then this unit can shoot units that are on, on this side of the battlefield. No one else. Um, so you could run away or stuff like that. Yeah. And yeah, so basically you would, at the start of the game, you would probably deploy it on the enemy's side of the yeah. of the battlefield probably. so you can shoot him yeah so yeah now um uh now uh, what does it as well yeah, uh, yeah instead of moving thing, sorry the, the most important sure. thing on this is that it does that, that it it's not staying there so you have the uh, ability um to 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 move it around right so um and I think it's setting the sail, right? Yeah. When yeah, this unit sail, would this make is, yeah. a maneuver, charge, or march, this unit, I don't know why charge is on there. Yeah, because he could have, it, he could have dropped out. charge. But yeah. if you have some kind of movement uh, uh, trigger, like maneuver or march, this unit may switch the side to it to it is uh, uh, it is currently deployed on. Right. Yeah. So you, you can switch it around and um, and there's all and that leads us to, to to another effect. So let's just assume this one this this ship goes to, to that one side and wants to attack a unit. The second really interesting thing is offering of iron and gold. 
So when this unit decides to shoot you, you as an opponent can say, you have the, 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 the option to say, I will distribute up to two pillage tokens between the Greyjoy units. So basically give them pillage. Yeah. And for each it's pillage like bribing, token distribute, yeah, bribing the units. Bribing, bribing the crew of the, of the boat. Exactly. <laughs> and for each pillage token you distribute upon your opponent's Greyjoy units, this unit, so the grip of the Kraken, rolls less dice on the attack. The only thing we do not like about this, even though it's really highly creative, and I, 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 I love the also that the pillage is in there, um, this ship has long uh, has f um, four attack dice on three plus. So with Sundering, but you may still... When I read it for the first time, I was feeling those pillage tokens might do way worse in the yeah. long run. <laughs> Yeah. For the for for you as 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 a player, so you might skip that most of the time. That's really a hard decision for the enemy player if you want to give pillage tokens for one attack less. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe if you out position him very well. I mean, you have more combat, more units on the on the field normally mm. against this boat. So yeah. maybe you can out position him yeah. and then distribute a pillage token to units that won't do a lot. So it is interesting mechanic, but as you said, I'm not sure as well if that is enough yeah. to give out pillage tokens to enemy units. But yeah, maybe if he went a little bit differently. Yeah, yeah but it's hard. It's hard. So, yeah, probably yeah. what the what, maybe maybe the gigantic harpoon is explaining it. The gigantic harpoon has similar to the scorpion has has the ability to if if uh, the harpoon attacks cavalry monster or other war machines it it uh, th this attack deals uh, two hits for each success yeah and on top of this if uh, a certain if, if the opponent has only one rank with this successful um, attack you must shift their unit three inch in a direction of your choice so you can push or you know a calf unit with one with one, only one rank or a, or an infantry unit with one rank or all those solo units out there can be just you know pushed or pulled um three yeah. three inch um and if it collides with another unit or a destructible object the enemy suffers plus one wound so Again, the gigantic harpoon is really a, a cool thing to have. And when we think through this and you have your, let's say, cold hands solo deciding, mm -hmm. can I really afford being pulled, like being attacked and pulled into something, right, with my four wounds? Is that is that yep. a thing? Or do I give to pillage out yeah, to, you... to, to reduce this attack so it might not happen? So... Probably very very good point there, Chris. Right. Because I, I just, as you say this, yeah, I mean, maybe for monsters and calf, you, you will have to give the pillage tokens. Uh, because yes. four attacks on a three that uh, are then yes. maybe eight hits with Sundering and Vicious that ah, can be quite crazy, can get quite crazy. Yeah. So it's really a solo hunter slash other war machine hunter, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, it's basically a big scorpion out on the sea that uh, you can't reach, but he can. It can reach you, and yeah, I mean, as as I said before, this this unit even might have some problems because it's really hard to say without playtesting stuff. Yeah. Is this even balanced? Uh, but that goes for all of the entries, and uh, with this one, we were just and Lokerbury is a bit of known for that uh, from similar uh, contests that were held in in the past that he. Yeah, it comes up last minute with really creative stuff. Yeah, and it kind of was enough for him again to get into the into the top. Yeah, but I, I like it. I, I like it. And I, I, I again, I have to say now with gigantic harpoon and the iron gold, when you compare everything, I really, I think you really have to see it on the battlefield to see. Yeah, if that's really a thing, is that too strong, too weak? Is that is can you play around it, or is it too OP? Is it too oppressive for your opponent? I don't know. So you really have to see. But I really love the idea, the lore. And just imagine you have a boat, right? All the yeah, every great player play now just gets Just imagine you boat. have your boat on the side. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. So that brings us to the winner of the contest, yeah, which is no, no other, another Greyjoy unit. Yeah, Let's spoil they... that one. We go to Corellion, who won this one with his finger dancers. 
Yeah. And now we are back to a little bit more normal style uh, <laughs> unit, I would say. But again, um, like for for uh, local breeze entry, I think every great joy player wants this X throwing unit. Like like it's so uh, so iconic for this whole Viking style that great joys uh, have that there must be this X throwing unit, and it's mm -hmm. not in the game, and everybody wants it, and Leon now. Uh, comes brought up it, here with, brought it to the table yeah and and it's it's uh, i think that's why he got first place in the end it's not the hyper creative thing to do but this is really a really well thought through and rounded unit in in uh as far as as, as we think yeah it's um on the first on the first look some people may say oh come on that's a one shot potential because they have some one shot potential if played correctly and Uh, with the right synergies but on the other hand with the defense they have and with the way the great joy army as a whole plays you need a lot of skill to to bring them into the right position and to really make them work because they against uh cavalry charges or uh, against good long range units they will have their problems and so it's really a test of skill to position them correctly and then they can dish out with the correct cards Like they are called finger dancers, so obviously, yeah. a finger dance on them will be really strong. Yeah. And then this combined attack via the charging volley, X row plus finger dance plus another plus a charge, uh, you can have a lot of attacks there. And then they have a real one shot potential. And it's yeah, it's just a really cool iconic unit. Yeah. I think. Yeah. It totally gives me the Bolton Bastard Girl vibes, right? Because it's play. It will be <laughs> played. Uh, uh, s similarly, right? Um, yeah. And um, I, I, I really appreciate that this axe throw ability to make all your cards work still, right? With the Because, range attack, basically. Yeah, with yeah. range attacks. Yeah. So that was highly needed. And you, as you said, you might think with pillage mechanic, also another attack die on it. So potentially they get two more, right? So it yeah. would be on, on eight on three. So what I wanted to say is what, but what I really appreciate, you can bring them up to eight, eight on three. You can bring them up to six on four, but they have no keyword. So you really need yeah. the right cards to play on it. So as you said, this is a well-rounded unit for seven points because you need the skill, you need the cards, you need the the forecast in your car, in your deck, uh, in your deck uh, management. Yeah. To make this one shot potential. It, because it they, they be are seven points, there. right? It's, exactly. And it yeah. will limit your army uh, construction also. The whole yeah. army b building you normally do as great job player is pretty highly limited with this unit. So you need to build around this unit. So that makes me think this, or all of us, made us deciding this is the most well-rounded, yeah. balanced I think it, unit we, we got in this contest. I mean, Leon is one of the best players in the world at the at, yeah. at this point. And uh, yeah, I think his experience with the game and his understanding of the game just went into the design of this unit as well. And you yeah. just, yeah, if you have, um, if you play the game regularly and you know a little bit about how the mechanics work, I think you can see that it's a very well thought through concept he delivered here and a very popular thing that everybody wants to have. Exactly. Uh, He ticked all boxes, boxes man. Yeah. So Definitely. that makes him first place. So congrats on that. Yeah, congratulations to all of the submissions and all of them all, all of the ones that that were mentioned here, but again, I really have to stress this. All of all of those 26 made me think, "Oh man, we need more You know more of these contests, more of these submissions. We need, and I totally love the idea. We had this video two weeks ago with uh, cus to have custom units in TTS, right? Yeah. With House Aaron and stuff, and potentially we do something like that, right? So let's think. Maybe we can 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 come up with something for the TTS. Yeah, seven, I, right. Um, yeah, I will, I will talk to uh, to Leon if maybe it's pos possible to implement like yeah. some of those units into yeah. the the. the... Uh, community section in the That'd tabletop cool. simulator. That'd yeah. be cool. Okay. And so, we will I, yeah. we will provide a, a document with all of the entries. I will get back to the uh, to the entrants if it's okay for them. 
if, if, if it gets published. Mm -hmm. uh, otherwise, it will take out some, but we will provide that document for the community as well. So you can see all the other great entries too. And there were one or two that were a bit funny as well. So maybe you can have a laugh Absolutely. there. Too. So yeah, yeah. It, it, it's cool. Okay, so we announced that the that the winners of the contest will will get um, a panic dice set of hits and crits. And I really have to apologize, guys. <laughs> the demand was so high, yeah. we have no dice left. They are all gone. <laughs> My, mic drop. All all, all hits and crits dice <laughs> are gone. But they're reordered. Be assured, there will be there will be more. But what do we have for you? All the winners can choose one of the uh, short range rulers which might probably be difficult to see i will probably do you see this they so they look exactly how the original ones and they also feel like the original ones in terms of how they bend how they are how they look so they are totally close to what we know from the from the original simon uh, designed long range rulers rulers and they they are provided by resin mancer our good friend from resin mancer mancer who also has a etsy shop i will link it down below so um we bought the designs we printed them for for just the community for this contest and the rest of the community so you guys can choose one of these rulers of your faction and I will also put in a little gimmick from Hits and Crits, some land of some some little secret I will also put in there. So <laughs> congratulations again. Thanks for all the submissions and thanks to everyone for being such a great community. And the last thank you goes out to um, all the viewers and Nachtalp to make this but, possible. Chris, oh. don't, don't forget the first place will get a unit box as well. Oh, true. I forgot Don't that. Forget. So Leon can choose a unit box and, of his choice and and a, a special role. and a special uh, and a special disco disco role. Yeah. Yes. Man. So many Yay. prices. <laughs> it's so many it's 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 so many prices and giveaways that I sometimes forget. Okay, <laughs> yeah. cool. So thanks for reminding me. So Leon, we will reach out for or all the winners, we will reach out for the prices, for the role, for the your unit box and uh yeah, let's see if we do some kind of community contest, another community contest soon. And um, yeah. I think there will be something. Thomas, as always, you, 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 you're here the first time, but you have the right to say it. You have to say, roll those crits for all the viewers. Okay, so see you around and roll those crits, guys. Come for the hits and stay for the crits.